ceremony was sanctioned by the Acting Commissioner of Police, Stephen Williams. Well, there's growing concern over the Ottawa River. Weeks ago, parts of the river began to glow when the water was disturbed. It's believed the presence of plankton is causing the phenomenon, which is beautiful to watch and has drawn local visitors from around the country to the banks of the river. But while it's a sight to behold, residents and ecologists both express concern that the added attention may be threatening the delicately balanced ecosystem of the river. Jonathan Chase tells us more. There's a glowing concern over the crowds that come to see the eco-hit of the year lining the banks of the Ottawa River. Even at remote pools, there's a traffic jam to see the sights. For the past few weeks, portions of the Ottawa River have been glowing in the dark when the waters are disturbed. For the most part, the disturbing is done manually, as in someone takes a deep breath and a plunge into the cold, cold water. But residents of Cedar Grove Road, along which the river runs, have expressed concerns over people throwing foreign objects into the water. Environmental advocate Robin Ramdeen says introducing foreign objects into the ecosystem obstructs the natural flow of the river and the negative impacts may be felt for years. Pick up things that are already in, in sight and from that habitat, from that ecosystem. Don't throw a box of Kentucky Fried Chicken into the river to see a splash that wasn't there, doesn't belong there. Paper and plastics particularly persist in environments and just throwing that there in how many ever seconds, it persists for who knows how many decades. She says the bioluminescent river presents the country with a tremendous opportunity, one that can allow for a change of attitude towards the environment and be the basis for a societal change towards a pattern of living that not only takes advantage of the many ecological wonders within our shores, but also protects them. It's, it's fantastic. It's, nature is so incredible and we are so blessed to enter that in Tobago, so we have to try our best to keep it in its natural state and clean it up if you can even, you know. The river hasn't only sparked the interest of local tourists. Researchers from the University of the West Indies St. Augustine campus are very interested in examining the ecosystem. Scientists toured the river by boat on Thursday night into the small hours of Friday morning, collecting samples for testing. They want to know not only exactly what is causing the river to glow, but what it means for the river's overall health. The glowing in the river won't last forever. The phenomenon usually runs only in the dry season, which has less than a month to go. And already, the Artois isn't glowing as brightly as it did weeks ago. Jonathan Chase, Senior.